Hello and welcome to the Oculus Build Podcast. Today we're going to make a G timer or a gate timer. This little utility uh, counts the number of seconds that a gate is high for. Uh, why do I need this? I don't know. It was just something that popped into my head that uh, I could make as a utility. Uh, a lot of times in Oculus I make these little utilities and then figure out what to use with them later. Uh, so let's begin. We'll just uh, we'll start by uh, opening the patch and we're going to make a sub patch here. As always, enter the sub patch. We'll create a button here. Uh, this will be for entering the, the gate. Uh, and we're going to have a little expression here. And this will, this will invert the gate signal as we have it going to the uh, sample and hold button so that when the gate goes low is when it triggers the sample and hold node that will sample the number of seconds that have passed since the timer has been reset. Uh, and then that will capture the amount of time that the gate has been high. So we're going to add this to an external input so you can both uh, uh, tap the gate in or you can also have it externally triggered. So we're just adding a little label here, going to add a little light indicator. Copy and pasting that so it's uh, or, uh, cutting and pasting so it's on top in the right order. Got to expose the button. Just making sure everything's a little neat here. Okay, adding the output. Here I'm getting a little truncate module. This will uh, take the output and round it to the nearest hundredth just for the display. The output of the module will still have its full uh, number of digits. Okay, so see how that's working. All right, see the timer's going and then reset. There we go. See, it, 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 this way it's counting the number of seconds that the button is held down for. And the button being held down is equivalent to the gate being high. If you wanted to make a little meter that would uh, uh, count the number of seconds a gate is low, you would just use this same meter and invert the gate as it's coming into this module. So you don't need to have a separate module just for that. You could just invert the gate as it's coming in. All right, now it's time to lay out stuff. It's laying out. Okay, put the title there. I just make sure I, you know, take a few seconds to make sure it just it looks nice and neat and consistent with all the other modules that are in the library. There we go, testing out. Yep. Uh, and you can see how the output is still has all those trailing digits to it. I want the uh, the light to also light up when the uh, w w when the button is pressed, and uh, actually I don't need to have that extra plus there. I can just grab it from yeah from that that plus sign. Grab it there. Hey, okay, so now now we know that that's the the gate coming in. So that'll light up whether there's a gate coming in from another source, uh, like say a clock. Uh, or if that button is being pressed. So here, we'll just try that with a clock. All right. And so that's, that's the faster we go, the uh, smaller that number is. So the longer we go, the longer period that the gate is high for. And of course, if the... Uh, the, the number there, twice the number that it's outputting is the whole period of the wave. And uh, we can take the, the another clock, turn its hertz uh, value all the way down, and that will uh, turn on the hertz input. And so you can take that number from the G timer and put it into the hertz input of the other clock. Why? I don't know, to make something that's kind of related to it somehow. You can check out the relationship between the two.
And you could do stuff. I mean, you could probably have some kind of poly polyrhythmic uh, things that were coming up with this. Um, you can see there's different rhythms being created at different speeds. This, in this 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 uh, cheat timer, it's a it's a solution in search for a problem. Uh, it's just something I wanted to make to see you know uh, that I could do it, and you know that someone will come up with something interesting you can do with it. So type it in the metadata there, the author name, the tags, and a little description of what it does. All right, and that's it for the G-Timer patch. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or requests for future episodes of the Audulous Build podcast, you can email me directly at mark at uh, Make sure you check out our other videos on how to integrate Audulous with your Eurorack modular with the ES8 Expert Sleepers module. Uh, they have their own playlist, but they're also integrated into the Build podcast as well. There's plenty more of those coming soon. Uh, you can download this patch at the forum at forum.audulus.com and just use it to come up with some cool patch and post the patch as a, uh, as a reply. We'd all love to see what you come up with. Uh, and please, please take some time and give us a good rating on the iOS and Mac stores. Your five-star reviews uh, really, really help us out, and we really appreciate that. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.